Call you button mashing loving dudes, Eddie Dads, Toys is here, and I am back again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. We are totally checking out their brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Turtles in Time, Wave 2. And of course, this is based off the classic arcade slash Super Nintendo video game. I played the arcade game a lot, but it was really on Super Nintendo where... I really just mastered this game. I absolutely love the game. I loved Wave 1. Now we get to finish out the Turtles. We got a couple more bad guys for this wave. Bring on the bad guys. That's what I'm saying. Do keep Just keep doing them. Love the packaging on these. They just evoke the video game 8-bit nostalgia so, so well. It's very cool to see all the video game backdrops, sewer surfing, technodrome, things of that nature. But you can't go wrong. NECA always does such a great job with the packaging. The characters love the 8-bit look the paint on these here's everyone involved with these figures so thank you for that i'm very excited to get these open sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee and a second player let's check out the brand new NECA toys teenage mutant ninja turtles turtles in time wave two and of course here are all the figures out of their packaging and you do get a bit of an awesome set here especially with these accessories leatherhead the the bosses in general those are always the most fun the turtles of course now i said rounding them out you got the first two donatello and leonardo now we got Raphael and michelangelo and of course we got this really cool shredder figure but let's start off with the turtles first specifically mikey and raf and of course think of it this way if you've ever owned one of the more recent cartoon video game teenage mutant Ninja turtle figures then you're going to know the articulation it's mainly the paint job that changes between each iteration they each come with some hands. Mikey comes with an extra nunchaku kind of effect. And they come with their sewer surfing boards. Now, here's the one thing. They have released video game Turtles in Time figures before. But it's really the sewer surfboards that sets them apart. And they are so much fun. I love seeing the different colors for each turtle. They get a stand, a flight stand, that rocks the board back and forth. There is a foot peg and you can put them on. They hold their weapons great, they stand great, rock them in any position, but it's when you have all four, wave one and wave two together, it's like you're playing four player, co-op, riding the boards, the sewer surfing, it is a blast to see all these. And really, there's not a whole lot of extra weapons that they should come with. The sewer surfboards really are where it's at. And I can't tell you, when you have them all set up, they look so great. Oh wait, hold on a second. Oh, here comes trouble, yeah. Yeah, we got to get this guy. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, he's launching those things. Watch out for your toes. My toes. My toes. This is, yeah, this guy, just just take him down quick. Let's get to the bonus. Let's, let's, there we go. He's done. He's gone. Excellent job. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what is happening anymore? The four turtles, they all have the same decos over their shells, their body parts. I do wish, you know, in talking about the first review, I wish their hands and their feet also showed that 8-bit digital painting because it kind of looks like, especially they look like they're wearing shoes, like different colored because it doesn't meld well with the rest of the paint that's happening either on the back or the side. But in comparison to all the other turtles that have come before, yes, from cartoon to video game to second series of cartoon, which I call like the Archie Comics sort of colorings, they are all the same, same exact articulation, basically the same weapons, just new paint overall, but they all look great, especially if you got the original Playmates 4 Ninja Turtles. I mean, we could go on and on. There's lots of Ninja Turtles sitting over here, but these just always bring such a smile to my face, the original Playmates, but to see what NECA has done. They've taken every bit, the classic Ninja Turtle action figure, and just blown it up to just proportions that are just fantastic it, pleasing so many different fans and everyone alike so if you are a fan of turtles in time if you've already got you, you know say like ninja turtle or two or something like that if you're just kind of primarily collecting the video game turtles then yes i do highly recommend them but if you have others and you're not really too keen on the video game yeah these are kind of a skip now i can tell you all day that yeah sure skip the other ninja turtles but do not skip this shredder this is a fantastic video game shredder and he is quite different from the previous let's say cartoon shredder he comes with a different set of weapons especially he's got a lot of different hands he's got his pink cape 
But this thing, he just looks cool. I love the colors of this shredder. Now, it's the same exact body type, right? We know the articulation on this guy. He's got more of a cartoony slash video game sort of paint scheme for the face. The backside, he even has like a Space Invader on his butt, which is really funny. But it's really, it's the 8-bit digital paint. You can do his best Batman impression. It's a huge cave. You know, check out that Michelangelo by DC Direct, right? Those were great figures as well. I thought I broke this. But no, it's two pieces. It's his laser beam sword. Don't call it a lightsaber. It's a laser beam. Zoom. And he looks great holding it. Again, straight from the video game. And if you got a nice flight stand, something that can kind of elevate him, you can do that move where he kind of floats and unleashes his fury. Go play the video game. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But NECA has capitalized on this. He looks fantastic. I love he's got like a little smiley face on his back. I don't know. The backside is interesting but you put him up with the other ninja turtles in this wave he's got this really cool effect right he does this in the game you have to find the right hand it's the two fingers pointing out it fits right in you can't miss the hand there it is and you just kind of fit it within that flame fire effect and it, again it's very cool it's straight from the video game i love that they really did this the only thing that could have been better is like a swoosh kind of thing for the lightsaber sword but his hand effect this open stretched hand is the coolest accessory i think i've seen for this year i absolutely love this thing it fits right onto his wrist it clips on the detail of the opening of the hand you know what i mean like it's digital it's video game-ish it meets every requirement it's just awesome i absolutely love this and for the photos you can take of him beating the ever-living you know what out of the ninja turtles like in the video game it's just fantastic. Just get ready to throw those foot soldiers at the screen, though. I'm just, you gotta learn how to do that. It's really cool. But it's the colors matched with the Ninja Turtles themselves, the bright video game colors, the beam sword. It's totally outlandish, but it works so well. And especially when you pose them up again with the other shredders that have come before. Now, these are my three deck of shredders. And like I said, he does share the same body type as the cartoon shredder, but he has entirely different attachments his gauntlets, shoulder pads, everything else. The movie Shredder, he looks good with all of these as well. But of course, you gotta, again, have the original Playmates. You get them all to that crouching position. You just, I have too much fun with these Ninja Turtle figures. Stupid, sexy Shredder. That's what I'm saying with your shirtless. Why didn't you have a shirt? But you put them up against all the Ninja Turtles, surround them. You know they're gonna get their butts whooped. I would say later on for wave three, four, five, whatever you want to do, NECA, do the Super Shredder. And I know we have a movie one coming, and I wouldn't mind seeing a digital 8-bit repaint for that guy. I'll tell you what. But now, here is my favorite figure from the four-figure wave, Leatherhead. I have always been a fan of Leatherhead. I've been waiting for this guy. He's every bit Archie Comics as he is Turtles in Time. We are getting a cartoon target Leatherhead as we speak. But he's much different. He comes with a number of hands and a really cool 8-bit knife, of course, throwing him in the video game. Love the colors on this guy. You do have to attach his tail. It does make him incredibly back-heavy, I will say that. But the colors, the details, it's awesome. They absolutely rock this guy. I love his yellow vest, his red hat. He's down in the bayou, baby. This guy, he's ready to board some trains and fight some Ninja Turtles. He does have an articulated jaw. However, on mine, when you pull it down, it likes to go back up. So you kind of have to hold it. But you can see the tongue, the teeth. He shares parts from the Rocksteady figure as well. Maybe the boots and some parts of the legs. Now, he stands okay. He's very top-heavy. He'll go forward. He'll go back all the time, especially when using my NECA stands. His legs are a little bit loose in that sense. But you can figure it out. Maybe prop him up against something. It's not ideal but that's what you got to do. His hand, his weapon, they all fit. They swap out great. He can hold the little knife. Now, the knife is awesome just because it's every bit that 8-bit Turtles in Time stylistic. But it's when you pair him up with the turtles, you get him ready to battle. You know what I mean? He's, he's ready to kind of punch and throw knives. That's what I'm saying right now. Just hit him a bunch. He'll turn red, and then you'll, he'll explode. What, what, you'll defeat him. Not to worry. But he is... Again, one of my favorites, just in terms of the coloring. Here he is lined up with the old-fashioned Playmates Leatherhead. One of the best from the old line. I absolutely love this guy. Try finding him with his headpiece. That was, that was always the weird thing. The head always came off that guy. But very cool to see from 
yesteryear to now modern times. And when you do pair him up with the other boss battle video game characters from Wave 1 and Wave 2, he looks great with them. From Slash, which is an amazing figure. I absolutely love Slash. And so now he's tied with Slash of the, the best Turtles in Time video game characters. But Shredder, the Foot Soldier, bring on more. I want to see Wave 2, 3, 5, 9. Let's do it all. They have shown off various... Other colors for the Foot Soldier. We did get those in a prior SDCC pack. And they've also teased Baxter Stockman as well. So I'm very happy with Wave 2. And again, thank you to NECA for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. When you have all of these characters, for me, as being as big as fan of uh, uh, Turtles in Time, you can create just so many cool old battles. You hear the music in your head. Some of the things I wish, you know, the articulation-wise, maybe they were a little bit less loose joints. I love the accessories. Now, they could have applied different paint here and there with the turtles, especially. I like it if they painted the feet, the hands, things like that. But those are nitpicks, minor inconveniences. However, I think you're going to like all of these. If not the villains alone, yeah, grab the turtles as well. Grab the entire set. Eight figures so far. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Turtles in Time. What is your favorite Turtles in Time level? And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, Tectodrome. Let's kick shell. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.